this 1968 Ford Mustang 289 Coupe is a beautiful car. This is what I classify as just a nice turnkey driver. It's got older paint on it. This car came from the factory with the light green paint and the ivory interior. I'm guessing approximately 20 or 30 years ago, um, the previous owner had painted it, um, repainted it in a white and redid the interior in a red. And um, if you look under the undercarriage of this car on our website, www.coyoteclassics.com, it's absolutely rust-free original, all original pans, frame rails, everything on this car underneath is original, and still the light green uh, paint and red oxy primer. So if you're looking for a nice turnkey driver that you can make a show car later, um, this would be the best candidate for it being a rust-free California car. It's powered by a great run in 289 four-barrel engine. Comes equipped with power steering. Bottom of the hood is all painted white, and they did a very nice job on that. The quality is nice there. The radiator looks new. Um, it does come with power steering. It's got factory exhaust manifolds. Looks like it's got all new plugs, wires, cap, rotor, all that stuff is new. Got the correct air cleaner. This little Mustang um, not only has power steering, it also came equipped with the deluxe hood. Hood gap's a little tighter in the front here on the driver's side than it is in the back. Um, not rubbing anywhere though. Um, as we look at the passenger side, we got a nice even gap from front to back. Now this car's got a lot of paint chips and stuff in it, guys. I'm not going to be able to po point out all the flaws but I can't stress enough that this is a rust-free car underneath, so it's a super nice original panel car um, that had a 30-year-old you know, paint job that's got a lot of chips and, and little imperfections and stuff in it. So for a driver, I'd use it just the way it is and have a lot of fun, but if you want a show car, sand it, repaint it, and you'd have one super nice car. As far as our bumper goes, the bumper really should be replaced. It's got decent chrome as far as a decent shine, but it's got a lot of chips and a lot of scratches. And for $100, I would definitely think uh, the next owner should replace it. Um, same thing with the hood trim. They're about $18. There's dings and stuff in that. Uh, grill's real decent. It's just got your standard uh, um, grill with the horse in it, not the horse and corral. If we look around the edges, you can see some of that light green paint chipped around uh, the marker lights and turn signal lights and stuff there. does have raised wet letter tires. It's got some aluminum rims. We got four wheel drum brakes all the way around. Um, we did just install brand new wheel well trim. This also has the original rocker molding on it too, um, but the wheel well trim is new. We got paint chips like right here. You can see a paint chip. As we go over on this front fender, there's absolutely no rust. There's no blisters, there's no bondo, nothing like that. Um, doors the same way guys, this super solid door got some little paint chips and stuff in it but really nice if you look at the door gap from top to bottom we got a really nice even gap it's got the dual chrome mirrors and they're in great shape uh, the windshield looks like brand new it's in excellent shape the chrome around the window is nice as we look across the roof there's no hail damage no dings nothing like that there same thing with the um, hood that all looks in great shape as well we have a bunch of little dings in the drip rail chrome here you see about six of them right there um, glass on the passenger side is in great shape it's not all scratched up at all back back bumper is presentable it's a lot better than the front bumper but it still has a few little scratches as well um, tail light trim there again, I would replace a lot of the little trim on here, like those tail light pieces have some pitting around them, they're original. The back valance looks great, it's not dented up at all, nice and clean. Rear quarter looks good, body is nice and straight up and down the passenger side. We do have a little paint chip right here, you can see that, uh, you can still see the light green paint where the paint is chipped. 
nice and solid on the inside and out. Back of the door has a nice gap as well. Sorry about my shadow in the way. As we look here, some of this chrome's pitted just a little bit on the door handle. We open up the doors, absolutely no rust. Inside of the door, this the interior is kind of a dark red, kind of almost kind of a maroonish red. Um, the inside of the door panel, the armrest door panel itself is in good shape. We do have some paint. Some of the paint's coming off here on that textured inside door panel itself. Um, other than that, the door jams were all painted white when it was done. Original quarters, it appears to me as you look down through here. Uh, dash pad's been replaced, that's in excellent shape. Um, Carpet's older. Like I said, I think this interior was changed out probably 30 years ago or so because you can tell the carpet is definitely older in it. Uh, seats are in really good shape on the passenger side. There's no rips or tears here. The seat back is nice on the passenger side. Back seat's in excellent condition. Don't see any rips or tears. Back door panels are good. Um, dome light works and the headliner appears to be the original and it's in great shape. I don't see any rips, tears, wrinkles, nothing like that. Got a little bit of a, a brown stain way over in the other corner, but uh, all in all really good shape. It's got the automatic on the floor. Door shuts good, lines up good. Um, we do have a couple Pioneer uh, speakers in the rear shelf. Now this Mustang, I'm going to price at $13,995, kind of as a price leader. Like I said, I think a guy can jump in this and drive it anywhere you want to go. Pretty much rust-free car. Um, looks good, runs good, drives good. Just not a show car paint job, but a, an older driver. As we look at the trunk lid, we got chips here in the white paint. We got chips along here. You know, kind of all of this in that area. Got a couple little flaws along here, a couple of little paint dirt spots. Inside the trunk is all the original green paint as well, rust free drop downs, and uh, trunk extensions are all original. A uh, quarter panel all looks good here, it's all original. There again, we got a couple little paint chips down here. It's all solid, but we do have some paint rock chips. Uh, over the wheel well is in great shape. In front of the wheel is nice. We do have a couple little paint cracks right up here in this seam line. Other than that, behind the back window is perfect. There's no uh, bubbling or any problems there at all. There again, just a th they might probably just put a thin layer right along here on top of this factory quarter line. And um, it's just got a very small light crack in the paint a few little spots there um, door gap looks good our quarter panel to door that all looks really nice lines up kind of telling me that this quarter panel hasn't been changed either um, fender looks good no blisters on the door I mean we've got some paint chips kind of all along this door edge here Kind of little touch up paint chip there it's got the little we also have a little bit of primer overspray on this chrome. As we go in here to the um, door tag, the body is 65A. These codes kind of, I ran these codes but they came back kind of odd. I didn't understand them. The color code was 2G. Trim was 16B. Date looks like 71. Then you got 0785 all ran together with date and DSO. Um, 2 for axle and W for trans. Corner of the door is perfect. No blisters, no body filler. Just like on the passenger side, we got some um, little chips and stuff like that on this inside door piece. But the armrest is good, door panel is good. Uh, seat does have a rip right here. Looks like somebody maybe got in, uh, sat in with a screwdriver in their pocket or something right there. Other than that, the rest of the seat cover is in really good shape. Seat back is nice, back seat's good.
This is a really, uh, not only a rust-free car, it's a really good car mechanically. Very impressive that way. The horn works, oil pressure gauge is way over towards the higher side of uh, between low and high. That works, temperature gauge works, gas gauge, alternator gauge, all work. Heater fan works great, the heat works well. Does have the two speed wiper and that works. Horn works. It's got a radio shack radio and that does not work. Um, the light works in the shifter. Open her door. Dome light works. Even the shift indicator light works and that shifter is super tight. I mean, a lot of these shifters are wore out. This one you can't even budget. It must have had all new bushings in that shifter at one time. The dash pad ain't wrinkled. Um, turning signals also work in the hood, both sides. Both sides work. Indicators work here for turning signals. Another thing with this Mustang, not only is it a four barrel, but it's got power steering. I mean, second gear scratch like that. Um, transmission shifts very well. Shocks are good. If this car had a little better paint job, guys, I mean, it would be four or $5,000 more. I mean, that's how good a, a car mechanically it is. Really nice car. The steering is excellent, very nice and tight. Our brake stop, beautiful, no pull left or right. There again, drum brakes, um, no power, just regular manual drum brakes. It really stops nice. Go ahead and shut the go ahead and shut the heater off if that works really well. really gets up and goes um, as far as going down the road 70 mile an hour just like that it goes nice and straight down the road front end is nice and tight this is a really really nice Mustang coupe we're going about uh, down to speed limit about 55 again. It's right back up to speed. 